If you're growing brassicas in the springtime, you're probably gonna deal with your fair share of aphids. I've got aphids on the cabbage and on the broccoli right now. Uh, cabbage, not so bad. There's just a couple of them that have a decent infestation. Broccoli's got it worse. So the telltale sign of aphids is just seeing them like that, or you might not see them because the leaves have curled where they're chewing on them. So if you see curled leaves, open them up, and more often than not, you're gonna see them right there. Now, one way to deal with them, which you might find gross, is just to smear them off with your finger. But yeah, it is kind of gross. Now, if you wanna spray something that is organic, neem oil will take care of aphids. Uh, if you want to do some companion planting, uh, onions and garlic planted in and among your brassicas can help keep aphids away. Nasturtiums are a good trap crop for aphids. They're going to go to the nasturtiums instead of your brassicas. You can find out more companion planting ideas when my book comes out uh, in two weeks, and it's on pre-order right now, Companion Planting for Beginners. Had to plug it. You can also, uh, speaking of companion planting, you can grow flowers that attract ladybugs and hoverflies. Umble type flowers like dill, fennel, achillea, those are gonna bring in those good beneficial bugs. One thing I wanna talk about is buying ladybugs. You might go to the garden center and at the checkout, you'll see uh, containers or little net bags full of ladybugs. Don't buy them. Number one, they're probably not going to stick around your garden. As soon as you uh, let them out, they're going to fly away, even if you follow the directions. The second reason is because those are most likely non-native ladybugs. You don't know where they're coming from, and they can actually come in and harm the native ladybug population. So it's much better to attract them in than to buy them. Now, the easiest, quickest, most effective way to deal with aphids, even though it's kind of something you're gonna to have to maintain doing is to spray the aphids off with a jet of water. Now, that's gonna involve a hose. I use drip in almost everything, and I suggest that you do as well, as much as you can. But that's never gonna eliminate the need for a hose. Either you're filling up watering cans, watering containers that may not be easy to get drip to, spraying off aphids, Lots of different reasons you might need a hose, and so I still have them. But usually, I hate them. Probably mostly because they're always thrown around the yard. They're never wound up where they're supposed to be. See, here's a hose reel. Is there a hose on it? No, it's laying down over there. Here's another one. Is there a hose on it? Nope, it's out here. Why? because it's too much trouble to wind them up knowing that they're gonna have to be taken off again tomorrow. So a while back, I saw a bunch of garden YouTubers getting something called a hose link. And I told Emily to check on it because it looked pretty cool. Well, she didn't have to do that because all of a sudden hose link contacted me and they wanted me to try it out. And I have tried it out for the last month or so and I cannot tell you <laughs> It's been a game changer in the garden. Let me show you. This is the hose link. It's 82 feet. It comes in two colors, charcoal and tan. And the reason I love it is because you can pull 82 feet of hose out and it will wind it up for you. Let me show you. Now let's actually spray the aphids off and I'll show you that and then we'll wind this puppy up and show you how easy it is. Another cool feature about the hose link is it has a disconnect and two on-offs. This is an on-off switch. So in case you had another attachment on uh, the same kind of quick connect, you can put it right there or you can turn it back on off right here at the uh, nozzle. Click it on, put it back on and then this has one on the end. And this is the nozzle that comes with it and it's got all the different modes that you could use. 
I'm gonna put it on center because that seems to have like the, the hardest but the widest spray. And so I'm gonna get in here where these leaves are curled up. I'm gonna spray them off. And when you're done, just give it a little tug. Perfectly wound up. Now just be really careful because it is pretty strong when it pulls it back in and don't just let it fly in there or this ball could could end up breaking this. So um, what's great is it can be folded away just to be out of the way either way, or it can swivel as you're moving around your garden. Hose link could not be easier to install. It comes with this receptacle here that you can bolt to a house. Now our house is wood, but it also comes with the hardware you need if your house is brick or stone, uh, stucco, you could also hook this out in the garden to a 4x4 post, 4x6 post, or you can pour some cement, have a metal pipe that comes up. This goes right into that metal pipe or into this, just like that. Now, if it's in a metal pipe out in the garden, it could actually rotate 360 degrees. This hose that comes out of the bottom comes with the um, the quick connect, which you just screw onto your hose or onto your um, hose bib. And then this goes right on like that. Now, while I will never go back to hose watering from drip, there's always a need for a hose. Why have a cl the cluttered look of a hose, you know, laying out across your lawn, laying out across the garden, instead of being neatly packed up against the wall, Hoselink has offered us one hose link to give away. There's two ways to enter. And if you have both of these ways, then you can enter twice. Uh, number one, this video, just make sure you're subscribed to this channel, Next Level Gardening. Comment down below on how hose link would be a game changer in your garden. The second way is on Instagram. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, Next Level Gardening. Uh, I put a, a a notification for this video out on Instagram today. Find that post, make sure you're following me, find that post uh, and comment the same comment down below on Instagram, how a hose link would change your gardening life. You have one week to enter. Today is Wednesday. Next Wednesday, which I think is the 23rd, um, it will end at midnight. And then Thursday, uh, I will announce the winner now, in every other giveaway we've had recently, there have been the WhatsApp scammers. A lot of you have seen them. They go on every single entry post and they say, hey, you won, uh, give us a call, blah, 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 blah. That's not how this is gonna work. That's not how I contact you when you win. I will announce your name on the video. You will see me announce your name on the video next week. At that point, you will go to my website and give me your, your, your name, your mailing address, and phone number that I can pass on to Hoselink so they can send you your Hoselink if you win. You're not going to be um, contacted any other way, okay? Hoselink was also kind enough to offer a discount code, coupon code for all of you, my viewers. I'm gonna put that down uh, in the video description. So if you wanna go out and buy one right now, you can head over there and get a discount on it. Thank you to Hoselink. Thank you all for entering and uh, we'll see you next time.